Hello and welcome to The Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today we're having a look at the Evercade Versus and we're going to be looking at how to pair a number of different controllers with it. Now in my previous video I paired this retro bit Sega Saturn wireless controller with its official uh, dongle and that was a doddle. Um, although it can be a bit of a nightmare at times so just keep on trying if that doesn't work. So today what I thought I'd start with is the DualShock 4 controller, the PS3, uh, this is the Sunset Orange one, it doesn't matter which version you try, um, using this here little dongle. This is the 8-bit do USB wireless adapter. Now you can buy this online pretty much anywhere. It looks like this, um, done in a nice Mario brick fashion. And it's just a normal USB key. You pop the lid off, there's your USB adapter. And on the bottom side, you've got your pairing button, which here is in the shape of an 8-bit Mario coin. All we're gonna do, we're just gonna pop this into here. Now, none of these controllers here I have synced with this Evercade previously, so this could go wrong. I don't suspect it will because pairing seems to be really nice on the Evercade when it does work. So I'm gonna pop this in, and we're gonna do this whole process from scratch. So once it's in, you can see a slow blinking. And what you wanna do is press and hold that button until um, for a couple of seconds and then let go, and it, it should blink more rapidly. So I'm just gonna press that in and let go. And you uh, can you see it's blinking more rapidly? Now I think the pairing on a dual shock is press and hold the share button and the PS button at the same time until you get a nice little flashy flashy like that. And bosh, like that, as you can see, a green light and a stationary light on there means it should be paired. So let's move up to the screen. And look, most interestingly, I'm using the analog control here. I'm not using the D-pad. There you go, there's the D-pad. So just like that, the Dual Shock 4 controller was synced to the Evercade. Now, if you do want to map your buttons differently, just head on over to the settings menu like I showed you in the last video. Uh, let's just press the X here, and you can navigate down to system, press X, and map controller. And in there, you can map it. It's very self-explanatory. Now, this would be a good controller to map because you have your L1, L2, uh, R1, R2, you've got your menu button, you've got your potentially a select button, a share, and your start button as your options. So you can do that, or if you want a menu button as this um, this light bar, you can press that, your touch bar, or the L3, R3, if you want. So that's that, very, very easy sync. So let's go and sync a new controller, and that's, I'm gonna use the Switch Pro controller now. I'm just gonna leave everything as is. Now, um, I'm gonna press and hold the reset button at the top here, this little button, and that should put it into pairing mode. So let's do that, and when it's pairing, you'll see the four lights along the bottom should, should flash. So let's do that, press and hold. Here we go, it's in pairing mode. And let's go back to our dongle, and we're gonna press, hold, and let go, and it should be pairing now. And this should go stationary when it's paired. Bosh, paired, hopefully. Let's have a look. Oh yes, let's press the B button. There we go. So that is the Pro Controller done. And again, analog stick is working, as is the D-pad by default. I haven't mapped any of the buttons on these. This is just default, all right? So now onto what I believe probably might be the trickiest. I don't entirely know how to sync this. I'm assuming it's gonna be this share button here, uh, create button, whatever they call it, and the PS button, but I shall find out right now. So let's press and hold both. I've had to unplug my um, PS5 downstairs. There we go, it's in pairing mode, you can tell that. And let's press and hold this, and let go. Okay, let's see if this finds Oh, we have a vibration success. Let's bring this up here. And there it is, the dual sense on the Evercade Versus, or Evercade Vs. Let me know what you think about that. So, in two short videos, we have synced 
our Switch Pro controller, official, our DualSense, and our DualShock 4, and a RetroBit wireless controller. Now, as yet, I haven't been able to map this, but I shall, when I work out how to do this, I shall bring a dedicated video. I do have the official dongle for this, which is just here. I still haven't worked out how to do that. So if you're holding out for this video, just keep an eye on our timeline. It will probably be the next video I do. I do have one more controller type video to bring on the Evercade Versus. Um, but if this has helped you out, do let me know. And um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And until the next time, I'll see you later, and happy gaming.